Hello friends, today I am going to make a pitch lathe for polishing. And you can see this is my pitch tool. I made this pitch tool with mixing sand and cement. I made it over a plate glass. and here you can see my pitch now i am pouring the pitch over the tool I could not record the video of hot pressing and channel making. Sorry for that. This is cold pressing which is very important before to start polishing for every time. Now I will start polishing. And I have cerium oxide. First I have to filter the cerium oxide. This is a clean cotton cloth and I fold the cotton cloth like this and keep it on a glass. I pour some cerium oxide on it like this and pour a little bit water on it and I store it to another bottle and I pour the cerium oxide solution on the mirror surface like this and also on the pitch lap surface
and now I will start the polishing with COC stroke. Friends, I could not record the full video of preparing pitch lab. I will try it in future. But you can watch other YouTube videos of preparing pitch lab. And after every two full rotations of the mirror, I apply a little bit cerium oxide solution. This time I filter the cerium oxide by decantation method. And I always use filtered water to prepare cerium oxide solution. And you can see the bigger particles remains at the bottom of the glass. I wash the mirror and the pitch lap properly after every one hour of polishing. And I always use filtered water to wash the mirror and the pitch lap. I have experienced a back pain due to long time grinding and polishing sitting on the floor. So I have arranged a table and a sofa like this.
friends if you hear any crash sound coming while polishing then stop polishing immediately and wash the whole setting thoroughly with filtered water I keep polishing until I got the transparency of my mirror like a normal glass that is exactly like mirror blank and you can see after polishing my mirror's transparency looks like normal glass and finally again I check my mirror's focal length it is about 8 feet and image is very sharp and i performed ronchi test of my mirror actually i could not record the video properly here you can see the ronchi gram the lines are straight that is my mirror is spherical mirror not parabolic my mirror is f8 that is long focal length as my mirror is of long focal length so spherical is not a big issue it's okay for amateur purpose and a good spherical mirror is better than a bad parabolic mirror so i am not going to try to figure it to a parabolic mirror now i grind the back side of my mirror with 120 grit so that reflection of the light does not come from the back side of the mirror and here you can see my mirror surface the reflection of a tube light you can see the image of the tube light is not straight little curved due to the curved surface so here is the end of my polishing stay with me for the next videos thanks for watching